everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Kingston HyperX, uh, the Predator. This is a DDR4 memory, the current model I have here it's the 4x4, that's a 16GB in total, and uh, it's the 2400MHz. So let's take a closer look at the heatsink here. It's a very well built, very solid, it's not something that will break over time or will get loose or any kind like that. So, okay. so we got the logos here, the HyperX, the Predator and also DDR4 writing. And the thing is it also looks uh, very nice in the case too. So let's uh, go ahead and do some benchmarking and uh, let's see what this uh, HyperX Predator is all about, so let's uh, take a look. So let's take a look at the first benchmark. Uh, we did the IDA64 cache and memory benchmark, which uh, on the memory side it scored a read of 49 gigabytes and a write of 47 gigabytes and copying at 54 gigabytes. And the latency was at 61.3, which uh, is very good. And uh, the next test uh, we're going to look at is at the Sandra 2015. On the integer memory bandwidth, it scored at uh, 42.61 GB. And the floater memory bandwidth, uh, it scored at 45.13 GB. So let's uh, go and do some real uh, world testing, uh, something like WinRAR and 7-Zip. Uh, in these cases, um, on the WinRAR, it scored at uh, 16,094 which is very good actually, comparing to a DDR3, most people asking uh, what's the difference between DDR3 and DDR4. So, on the DDR3, the score for this would be 11,000, which I did, and on the DDR4, which I did on the HyperX Predator, it scored at 16,000, so that's uh, very good actually. So on the 7-zip um, benchmark, it did a total rating of uh, 31,406 MIPS, which is very good indeed. And uh, let's go ahead and do some 3D Mark testing. On the 3D Mark, um, I actually just did a custom test of the physics score. I did the Fire Strike and the Skydiver. So on the Fire Strike, um, it scored on the physics score at it did at 14698, and on the Skydiver, it did at 14070. So the HyperX uh, Predator performs excellent. Um, also one thing is, is the timings. At uh, 1.35 volts it performs uh, 12, 13, 13 and then 1.2 volts it's uh, 13, 13, 13. So the speeds of the timings is like excellent for this one. I give it a big thumbs up for the Predator. Because at this price point um, it's really hard to find uh, uh, like a DDR4 with uh, good timings, especially like if it, <laughs> if it goes like 12, 13, 13, that's really hard to find. And the other thing which I love about this is that it's a very solid build. As you see here, the heat sink and everything looks excellent too. And also looks good too in the case. So, Kingston did a great job of the Predator DDR4. So for a fuller review, um, like more details, pictures and everything, please head to htpoint.com and you will be able to find the full review of this with the full details. If you like this video, please subscribe and also like. And if you have any comments, um, anything I should improve on next time, please comment below. Thank you for watching.